Hello, and welcome to Moth Ed, a project devoted to helping kids explore the ecology and diversity of moths in local neighborhoods. If you want to know what kind of moths are around, you've got to catch some to sample a very small proportion of local moth populations. Because moths are so fragile, and because most of them are only out at night, and because they can be really hard to find, the best way to catch them is to use a black light moth trap. With a black light moth trap, moths are attracted towards the low wavelength black light in the middle of the trap. Then they come into contact with the panels surrounding that light and fall through a funnel and into a bucket where a small amount of pesticide is used so that the specimens can be examined the following day. In order to build a moth trap, you'll need some supplies. This includes two two-liter pop bottles, twine or heavy string, twist ties, scissors, a sharpie marker, a ruler, a hole puncher, and a sharp knife. Once you have your supplies, it's time to get cutting. To start, cut the top off the first bottle, using the top of the label as a guide. For these cuts, you might find it easier to make an initial incision with your knife than to complete the cut with your scissors. On the second bottle, cut the top and the bottom off, again using the label as a guide. Now take one of those tops that you cut off. Mark a line about an inch and a half down and cut around the bottle neck and remove. The piece that's left over will become the funnel of your trap. Now let's take the bottle cylinder that we made from the second bottle and turn that into the panels that we need for our trap. Remove the label from the cylinder as best you can, cut down the side of the cylinder and lay it flat. Now use a ruler to measure equal thirds and cut. These three pieces will become the three panels of your trap. To assemble them, simply invert them so that the natural curvature faces outwards, and then tape the edges together, one at a time. Next, punch a hole in each of the six corners of your panel assembly. And now you're ready to put it all together. Mark where the panels align to the edges of your funnel. Then use your hole puncher to punch out matching holes on the side of the funnel. Use twist ties to connect the panels to the funnel. Next, situate your funnel inside the collection bucket and use a hole puncher to punch two holes on opposite sides where the funnel meets the collection bucket. These holes would go through the funnel and the side of that collection bucket. Next, use a twist tie on each side to secure the funnel to the bucket. Now we'll attach a lid. Once again, use your hole puncher to punch holes on the side of the lid aligned with the spacing of the holes on the panel assembly. Then cut equal lengths of twine and tie each piece to one of the holes on your panel assembly. Now just thread the twine through the holes that you just made on the lid and finish off by tying the ends of the twine together. And that's how you make the fundamental structure of a moth trap. The last thing you'll need is a low wavelength purple or black light. We like to use keychain black lights. They're pretty easy to find and buy online, and they come with a switch for easy use. Tape one or more of these lights onto your panels and you're ready to go. Well, of course, you'll need a small amount of pesticide in that collection bucket. We like to use hotshot pesticide strips. Just a small chunk is plenty for the DIY moth trap. And now you're ready to trap. You can hang your trap from a tree branch or a fence or really anywhere, depending on where you're interested in finding moths. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <laughs>